Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are having a bright and beautiful day. We have some sun today, which I'm crazy happy about. We haven't had sun in quite some time. I have a little project that I saw Nick the Booksmith do. If you don't know Nick, you gotta go, gotta, gotta know Nick. She's, she's not only like so crafty and wonderful, um, she is funny as well. So I just, I really do love watching her videos. This is, um, a lavender filled tea bag that's made from an old text page. And I just thought it was so cool. And it was, it's one of those things that is, is very sweet to just put in an envelope, you know, for, for happy mail or to add to your Christmas cards or your solstice cards or whatever your inclination is in that direction. So we are taking a text page. And I'm just folding it like this. The The thing that I had to kind of experiment with, you guys, is um, I had to experiment with the, um, uh, the sturdiness of the text pages that I was using. I found that some of them cracked when I tried to fold them too much. So basically you're going, you have something that looks like this. Okay, and then you fold this in half, like that, and then you take this part and you kind of fold it up, and this took me like a while to get as well, you know, I'm not, I'm not super quick. Okay, and then you fold this up. Now fold the whole thing back out. You're going to um, you're going to glue this part right here, okay? So just took some eyelines, and we'll just run a bit of glue here. And glue always works really nice on old text pages. Now I imagine I think this was from a Reader's Digest book. It's an interesting. I love. I love old text pages because you never know what kind of books you're going to stumble on. This one is called um, Through the Narrow Gate, and it is about a young nun, um, which I just found very, very interesting. All right, so this is going to go inside, right? So you got to make sure that your little, um, your little folds go this way. It's a wee fiddly, okay? It's a wee fiddly, but it is, it's it's worth kind of that folding effort that you kind of have to go through. All right, now at this point, you can fill your tea bag, okay? Um, I bought Anthony's French Lavender, and I bought this big bag. It's five ounces. I bought it on Amazon for 10 bucks. I um, I use a Bing search engine, and with Bing you get points and you get Amazon points. So it is like I get a lot of stuff on Amazon for nothing because I use my five dollar Amazon gift certificates from that uh, Bing search engine. So this is imported from France. I love it. The at the top of the bag said, "Please don't look under the bag," <laughs> and then it said quite the rule breaker, aren't you? We dig that because, you know, if it says don't look under the bag, then what are you going to do? You're going to look under the bag. So I, um, I kind of spilled out my lavender and I got to tell you, man, when I opened the door to my little studio this morning, it's like, oh, oh it smelled so good. The trick here is don't, um, don't add too much. Because if you add too much, you aren't going to get your folding um, to happen the way you want it to. So I'm just kind of three little little pinches really did work. And like Nick said, you can use different things. You can use, um, you know, I think these would be awesome filled with like chamomile. You know, chamomile has that, um, has such a fragrance to it. All right, so now what we do is we kind of, um, 
Nick says we're going to fold this like a shipping tag, right? So kind of fold it like this. And then I've also, I forgot that I have not um, distressed the edges, which I should have done. Sorry, it's early in the morning and I have only had one cup of coffee. So let's fold that back. Kind of get our top going here. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. Mine's a bit uneven, but you know, it's me, right? It's gonna be a bit uneven. And I'm bifocaling it this morning. Okay, all right, that looks that looks a wee better there. All right, um, the next thing that I'm gonna do, which I should have done before I put the lavender in, is just um, hit the edges with a little bit of distress. I don't know what color this is, but it works really great with this yellow text here. All right, so we've got that done now. We're gonna take our glue and glue those little flaps down. Like this. Again, you, you, you're going to have to kind of uh, figure out how chippy your, um, your text pages are. Some are just too chippy to fold like this. There we are, right there. And there we go. It is a little off, but <laughs> wonderful Nick, <laughs> this great idea to put a little tap right here, which kind of hides the uneven quality of my work. I relish those days when I was young and you know you could you could you could really see <laughs> you know what I'm talking about you didn't have to have reading glasses and glasses glasses and glasses on top of glasses but hey you know I can see right so that's that's the thing I had a small stamp and I thought she was so cute so I decided to she's a punch bunch and somebody gave her to me so I'm going to use her as like a little just put a little embellishment on here and you know you can do whatever you want I think these would be awesome for um, for our next big holiday that we have coming up which is Valentine's it just seems like the holidays happen like on top of each other right now Okay, I got that a little crooked, but I can't get it up now, so she's going to have to be a little crooked. Let's see if I can push her. Oh, I did it! Okay, there we go. The next thing to do is to, uh, we're going to do a little punch right here. Where is my, there it is. Little crocodile. I'm using a three sixteenths right here, just like that. And I'm gonna set a little eyelet right here. Let me find the base of my machine because <laughs> I I confuse that. We were running errands yesterday, and I could not get my seatbelt. Um, I cannot get my seatbelt fastened in Chris's. He has a 1980 Datsun station wagon. And he was like, are you having trouble? Do you have trouble with things like that? And I was like, yes, I have trouble with everything. Getting the top to fit onto a bottle, opening a jar of anything, and not having the, the lid fly everywhere. It's, I have just, I don't know what it is. It's very frustrating. And then I uh, laced a little twine through here. I did distress the twine 
um, before, you know, I just took the twine, took a, an ink pad and just kind of did that. No big whoop. And then I added a little tag at the top. So again, you know, just part of the text page and just glued that. It's cold, my glue's not working. There we go. And then just put that right, like right at the top. Kind of just folded it over. And there we go. It's a really neat, oh, so thank you, Nick, for this fun project. I can see this being like a something I want to sit here and do as other things dry. <laughs> so that's super cool. I hope you guys uh, use some of your text pages and make some of these fun, fun tea tags. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.